Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are fit and fine. So today I have received this Lenovo T470 laptop motherboard and this motherboard problem is on and off, on and off. It's turning on, then few seconds it's turn off. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. Okay, this is the model number of this motherboard NM-A931. So let me show the condition of this motherboard. So when I connect DC power supply to this motherboard, it's uh, turning on. After a few seconds, it's, it's turn off. So right now, I will measure some weaker voltage on this motherboard. So at first, 19 volt in this fuse, it's okay. Then this MOSFET this also okay so next i will check 12 volt this also present so now i will check 3 volt and 5 volt always voltage okay 3.3 is present 5 also present so and now I will check suspension 3 volt and 5 volt so under my microscope. So this is the 5 volt suspension. The 5 volt is present. So other side. Okay, this also okay. So let's flip this board and now I will check 3 volt suspension switch. So as you can see this one, it's a 3 volt suspension side is also present. Is that also present? So let's check other voltage like. RAM supply. This is RAM supply. Okay, 1.2. This also okay. This is one volt. This also okay. What should I check now? This is uh, 2.5. 2.5 also present. So now I will check this one volt suspension. This is one is present on the side. Okay, it's not present. So let's check the gate voltage. Get also zero. Let's check this switch here. This is uh, RAM supply one point two. Let's check this side. This is zero. Check the gate voltage. Get also zero. So at first I will check this two switch. So let's open a schematic for this motherboard. Okay, let's find this first PQ29. PQ29. Okay, we have PQ29 in the schematic diagram as you can see the switch. So now I will check get this is get drive. B underscore drive. So let's check where this get come from. Okay. As you can see, this IC, this is a PMC 
Power Management Think Engine BD4178 this IC control this switch this and this both so now I will check this IC first let's flip the board again <coughs> okay as you can see there are something here okay this component is missing here so I have no idea what was it it could be a resistor or a capacitor so now first I will uh, check invariance I think mistakenly or accidentally I've uh, done this. Okay, this is not ground. So now I'll check voltage both line. Okay, no voltage on the side. Here also nothing. So let's check with Dioso. So now I check with Dioso. Nothing. Let's check other side. Okay. You can see some data in this line on my oscilloscope screen. So I think this is a data line. So let's check the IC again in the schematic diagram. Okay, let's check other part here. So we can see some data line. Okay. So you can see some data line. This is a uh, ECSPI clock, ECSPI MOSI, ECSPI SS, ECSPI MIO, MISO. So I guess this line, one of those line. So let's check where this line is come from. What is this? This is a MEC1653. This is our controller. Let me show you. This is a IO controller. And this is a SPI section inside this IO controller. So this section direct communicate with this PMCIC through this for SPI line. ECSPI so and uh, let me show you so I guess there was a resistor value is 33 all the resistor value is 33 so I'm going to make a jumper between these two line with the jumper wire because uh, this is a 33 ohms only and then I will check again Okay, jumpering is done. Let's clean this area. Okay. 
Let's connect the DC power supply again. Okay, boom, it's turn on. Let's turn on. So let's check the display. Okay, it's turn on. So I need to wait for a few seconds to see the Lenovo logo. <laughs> okay, we have Lenovo logo. So it's done. I hope you all are enjoyed this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon if you already subscribed my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Until then, stay well. Bye-bye.